dynamic and as active systems. They don't just sit there. On the one hand, they need constant maintenance. They're constantly, you know, things are breaking and things are getting old, and so they need constant maintenance to stay in good shape. And also within the building, we have a number of systems like heating and air conditioning um, that, you know, those systems get old as well, and they need maintenance as well. They need regular uh, filters, for example. So we really need to think of our buildings as being sort of almost like living things, and that they need to be attended to in order to function properly. And when they're functioning properly, the people inside are going to be comfortable. Um, it's going to be a healthy environment for folks, and it's uh, it's going to be you know reasonably priced. But when they haven't, when they've been neglected, things get expensive really fast and they become uncomfortable, unhealthy places to be. A home or building in Illinois is really energy efficient if uh, the equipment it has is working properly, if it's relatively new equipment, because our, the efficiency of our heating and air conditioning equipment and other equipment has improved so dramatically over the last few years. Um, and if the house uh, has been sealed up against leaks or drafts and is properly insulated. Yeah, well, LIHEAP is the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, and it's run by the Department of Health and Human Services. Um, it assists uh, low income families in paying their energy bills when they're having difficulty paying those bills. Um, low income families are really tend to have a heavy burden on their energy bills. It takes up a really high percentage of their income. And when you have, especially if you live in a place that's very, very cold, like Chicago, um, that can be a real problem and becomes dangerous if folks can't pay their bills over time. So LIHEAP helps with that. The Weatherization Assistance Program uh, is a program that gives uh, money to the states that then they distribute to, um, to improve the homes on a more permanent basis. The agencies that administer the weatherization assistance, they'll go into a home and uh, they'll do insulation and they'll put caulk around all the windows to stop the drafts and uh, can work on the uh, heating and air conditioning equipment in the home as well. Well, I think the Weatherization Assistance Program and LIHEAP both need continuous, steady funding. You know, in Illinois, our LIHEAP funds can only cover about a third of the households that qualify. So increases in that funding are really helpful in helping families stabilize their finances, really, in their household finances. Um, other things I think the federal government could do that would be helpful, uh, it, would, it needs to be easier for agencies like public housing authorities to, um, to put solar on their buildings. Right now in Illinois, solar is cheaper than grid power, and so that would be a long-term money saver for a public housing authority, but there's, it's kind of difficult for them to do right now, and so improvements in that would be very helpful. To the individual homeowner, this work can be really, really important. We're regularly going into homes and meeting folks who um, the home's sort of gotten away from them a little bit. Maybe there's some, maybe some health and safety problems. It's costing too much to keep it comfortable. Um, and it's just really gratifying to be able to help those folks to bring their home back up to the standard it should be at, to make sure that they're staying healthy because their home's allowing them to, and, uh, and also to get their bills down so that they can spend that money in other ways. Mm -hmm.